Now you've seen how in recent years India has been focusing on developing its space technology industry. Today we will look at the interventions in this sector that are fueling India's space economy's growth. Hello and namaste. Welcome to New India Junction. I am Richa Devedi and you're with me on NIJ Edit. The government has identified the potential of the space sector and the role of private players in increasing India's share in the global space economy. India is one of the few leading space-faring nations in the world and it is now turning its attention towards developing its space technology sector. Currently, the global space economy is valued at around $360 billion, with India accounting for only about 2% of it. Private companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and Ariane Space have been disrupting the space sector in major space-faring nations by using innovation and advanced technology to reduce costs and turnaround time. Therefore, in order to increase the participation of private entities in India's space program and fully unlock the potential of India's youth and entrepreneurs, the government has been emphasizing the need to promote private sector activity in the space program. The Indian government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been focusing on promoting private sector activity in the country's space program to increase India's share in the global space economy, generate employment opportunities and create a thriving space ecosystem. One such initiative was the incorporation of New Space India Limited or NSIL in 2019 as a wholly owned Government of India undertaking or central public sector enterprise under the administrative control of the Department of Space. NSIL aims to enable Indian industries to scale up a high technology manufacturing base for the space program and to commercially exploit the products and services emanating from the Indian space program for meeting the domestic and global customer needs. In June 2020, the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre or InSpace was formed to promote, enable, authorize and supervise private enterprises and startups to undertake space activities. InSpace has also taken up the initiative to enable startups to use ISRO facilities and provide mentorship support. InSpace serves as a single window agency to promote, handhold and authorize the activities of non-governmental entities in the sector. Since its establishment, InSpace has received 160 applications from NGEs in the space sector. Another important initiative was the Unispace Nano Satellite Assembly and Training or Unnati by ISRO announced in 2018. The training provides an opportunity for the participating countries to strengthen their capabilities in assembling, integrating and testing nano satellites. So far, 60 participants from 33 countries benefited from the two-month residential program. Furthermore, to boost space research activities, Space Technology Incubational Centers or STIC have been established across the nation since 2018. STIC enables young academicians to realize their innovative ideas or research aptitude into space-grade components or elements which can be utilized for space applications and guide them towards setting up future startups. All these measures are aimed at increasing India's share in the global space market, which stood at 2-3% to in 2019. The government's emphasis on promoting private sector activity in the space program through NSIL and InSpace is expected to bring a commerce-oriented approach to space activities and enhance the diffusion of space technology and boost space economy within the country. ISRO has signed several formal cooperative agreements with international multilateral organizations including various European space agencies and SARC. ISRO also signed an MOU with the United Arab Emirates Space Agency or UAESA in February 2016 to cooperate on the exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes and with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency or JAXA in November 2016 to cooperate in the field of space and an implementation arrangement or IA was signed in June 2018 concerning cooperation on validations, improvement and applications of rainfall products using satellite images and ground measurements. In 2017, the ISRO and the Israel Space 
agency signed an agreement for a plan of cooperation regarding cooperation in atomic clocks and two MOUs for cooperation in geo leo optical link and electric propulsion for small satellites. In 2019, ISRO signed an MOU with the Bolivian Space Agency for cooperation in the exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes. Recently, in 2021, the ISRO and the European Space Agency or ESA signed the ISRO-ESA agreement concerning network and operations cross support, which will enable the use of ground stations to support each other's spacecraft missions. In 2022, six space industry MOUs were signed between the ISRO and the Australian Space Agency, including two with Bengaluru-based companies. Now that was about India's global partnerships in the space sector. Coming back home, India has experienced a tremendous growth in indigenous space technology startups with 167 registered under the space technology category as of March 2023. The Department of Space's campus now hosts a private launch pad and mission control center designed and operated by an Indian space tech startup Agnikul. The facility was inaugurated on November 25, 2022. Additionally, a suborbital launch vehicle built by Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited was successfully launched at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota under Mission Praramb on November 18, 2022, marking the first launch of a launch vehicle by a private company in India. And know what? In the financial year 2021-22, India generated 174.90 crore rupees through the export of launch services, data sales, in-orbit support services and post-launch operations. India's space economy is set to expand with various upcoming missions and technology development projects. The Gaganyaan program aims to demonstrate human spaceflight capability and has entered the realization and testing phase with the first test vehicle mission planned for mid-2023. Other upcoming missions include Chandrayaan-3, Aditya L1 and Exposat. ISRO is also working on developing disruptive technologies based on quantum mechanical principles, space telescopes for UV and visible or IR astronomy, and critical technologies required for autonomous precision landing of space rockets. Initiatives have been taken for the exploration of space weather, the sun, the moon, and the other planets, as well as astronomical sources. The government's far-reaching space reforms initiatives will give a boost to the private sector space industry, including startups. The participation of private sectors, including academic institutions, startups, and industries in end to end space activities, is expected to expand the national space economy, generate more employment opportunities, create a thriving space ecosystem, and increase India's share in the global space economy in the long term. Therefore, the government's efforts to promote the private sector in the Indian space program are expected to bring about significant economic benefits and create new opportunities for the country. So that was all in this episode of NIJ Edit. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up and drop your comments below. Until next time, this is Richard Devedi signing off. Dhanavad and Namaste.